simple primary cell. Simple primary cells consist of zinc and copper plates as electrodes and dilute sulfuric acid as the electrolyte in a container as shown. Working of a simple cell. Dip zinc and copper plates into a beaker containing dilute sulfuric acid. Connect the two plates to a bulb. Observe what happens to the bulb immediately when it is connected. Allow the setup to run for some time and note what happens to the bulb. Observation When the bulb is connected it lights brightly but dims after some time. Bubbles form around the copper plate. When potassium dichromate is added into the container, the bubbles on the copper plate disappear and the bulb brightness is restored. Explanation and defects of a simple cell The hydrogen ions in the electrolyte pick up electrons and form an insulating layer of hydrogen gas bubbles around the copper plate making it difficult for the electrons to flow. This is what causes the bulb to be dim. The process by which hydrogen bubbles form around the copper plate is called polarization. Polarization can be minimized by adding a depolarizer e.g. potassium dichromate. A good depolarizer should not react with the electrolyte. When zinc reacts with sulfuric acid, it dissolves and exposes hidden impurities of carbon and iron. These impurities form small cells called local cells. These local cells cause the zinc to be used up even when current is not being supplied. This defect is called local action. It is minimized by applying a layer of mercury on the zinc plate. This process is called amalgamation. In this process mercury dissolves off zinc leaving the impurities buried in the electrode. It can also be minimized by use of pure zinc. 